um, it's crazy because I, I, I was um, on the verge of playing for Republic of Ireland, but um, paperwork never came through. Um, and then Jamaica came calling and it was like, we just, they, they kind of put out the red carpet for me and then I just went over there and, and done my thing. And I've got a great rapport with um, the Jamaican fans, um, even though I was a bit of a rebel, but yeah. they kind of like that. Out there. It's kind of, they, they understand that, you know, um, and then when you're scoring goals for them, it makes it even easier. So, I mean, I still pay attention and speak to people from the setup and players and I was speaking to um, Ravel Morrison. He, uh, I think he's trying to convince him to go, even Nathan Redmond, a couple of players that should be going. But it's a great experience, man, especially when it's a full house in Kingston. Mm. It, it's, it's Hussein Bolt status when you're out there, you know, especially when Jamaicans are doing well. We've got the World Cup qualifiers coming up. Everybody's just, you know, it's a powerful movement. Man. When everybody sees the, 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 the gold and the green and the black, it's just... You saw that, I'm sure you're old enough to see the last World Cup. It was just, it was something else. You had Japanese people with Jamaica tops on and this small little nation with two million people, like such a powerful impact. So I want to see them back in the World Cup. Yeah. And there's a guy in here called Simon Preston. He does all yeah. the um, Jamaican things. Well, I was just talking to him about the other day because we're both trying to get the team as strong as possible and, and convince players from the English League and other leagues to, 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 to go and play for Jamaica. But we'll start with Raheem, Raheem Sterling. He was born in Jamaica. Yeah. John Barnes, who digger, he was my manager towards the end. He, he was born in Jamaica. Um, the amount of players that qualify to play for Jamaica, but what it is, because Jamaica is such a small nation, the players who play for top clubs want the exposure because that comes with it's a package. So you need to play of in course, like yeah. the European competitions, um, like the Euros. And, and stuff like that. The rankings need to be decent for you to get endorsements and stuff like that. And then if the facilities don't match what the players are, are coming from, you know, to fly nine hours to Jamaica um, and be like seven, eight hours behind is a lot because you're, you're putting your main source of income at risk. So there's that factor as well that I was discussing. Mm. People are like, why don't they come? But if the facilities are not right and then you've got pressure from the club, look, we just paid. Uh, what do they pay for Sterling? They paid fifty million for him. He's they're, they're probably the most prized asset. Do they want him playing for Jamaica? No. So I think there's going to be some sort of. You no, know, you've got to pay for England. England have the world um, watching them, whereas Jamaica's just a small nation. So there's all of those kind of politics that go with it.